Welcome all to a game called Triton Survival. This was released on the 21st of June in early access on Steam. It's from a company called Dreamsoft Games, which is run by Louis de la Cruz and Pau de la Cruz. Oh, I pronounced your names right. There's just two of them doing this. It's, it's kind of like a um, base building survival uh, crafting type of game. We'll go straight into it, actually. So you can play multiplayer. So it's as far as I'm aware, one to four. It again, it's it is in early development at, at the time of recording, which is the 23rd of June. So it's got uh, bugs. There's many more things need to be implemented and stuff. I don't know what these are, but you know, early games will be uh, get extra ones. I've had a couple of bits of play on getting used to them because I don't usually play this type of game because generally the first person shooters and they all make me really nauseous and stuff and this one's like a third person so I can kind of play it so you start off here and you have your pole directly in front there you also got a, a a rocket pack that you can jump around to but you need to keep getting fuel and stuff for it so if you press tab you will bring up your like hood type of thing and you've got your drag fuel here so you need to make uh, nitrous oxide for it I'll go into that a little bit later you need to keep your oxygen up you've also got your health and water and this is your inventory where you pick up stuff and you can make stuff there you've also got your armor when you take damage you'll need to repair this again I'll go into that later on crafting so far they've got uh, containers uh, turrets and stuff like that so you'll have to go around and mine rock and quartz and copper and stuff like that. Again, go over that just now. You've also got uh, guns that you can have. You'll get one of these in a second because when you first start out, you're going to start off by just uh, activating a, uh, an attack and you just get a, a gun where you can just shoot infinitely. But that does not stay with you. You will lose all your ammo and you need to craft your own. This red gun here is your mining tool so eventually when you've got uh, copper and iron quartz you can make this uh, I think this only lasts so long so many times and I believe you need carbon yeah there you go need ammo carbon so you need carbon in your inventory for it to use so the, if you've got carbon in your inventory you can then use it to mine and uh, again we'll go into that more often you have got um, a pulse scanner which is it just gathers, uh, just scans the nearby environment and shows you which materials there are for you to pick up or mine. You also got a tech tree, so these unlock the further you go down. I'm sure there's going to be more and more added uh, as the game develops. Same with storage and technology. So we need to be level three before we can even make this pulse scanner. You don't need to click on these to unlock them. And there's also vehicles. Again, we'll probably not go into those in this video. Your skills, uh, as you level up, you get skill points. And there's many, many things you can put them into. So, radiation. So, I would imagine in a later game, you will be using uh, uh, uranium a lot more. And the more of it you mine and stuff, the higher your radiation level goes. And what else we got? Heat protection. So, okay, I'm imagining it's going to be digging down into the earth or something like that. But again, I don't think that's uh, implemented just yet. So, maximum stamina lets you go a bit further. Transport weight. Uh, maximum food probably is a good one to go for at the minute. And water. So, I'm just going to grab water. Just keep the points. You don't need to use them or nothing. Uh, you've also got player experience points. Again, when you level up, you get more of these. You need uh, for each progression in the actual um, your tree and stuff like that. Different craftable items need a different skill. So I would usually go for mining first and maybe um, weapons or technology. Doesn't really matter. You can just just pick which whatever you, you can kind of keep them all relatively equal as you go and I think that's about it for those ones uh, what else do we want to look at so we're gonna so you got a portal here 
And if you go around to interact with things, it's E, so you can press E, and that'll bring up a map. Once we get enough fuel, I don't know which fuel we need at the moment, you can probably uh, fly off to different planets and do different things, but I imagine you need to uh, build your base and get it all pretended, uh, protected with turrets and stuff before we even bother pushing off to that, so I'm not going to bother. Over in this little thing is your particle... Uh, what's it called? Atomic Particle Accelerator. Again, press and keep E pressed, and it brings stuff up. Here you can get oxygen from water, once you've made said water canister and stuff like that. So, again, I'm going to go over these in a moment. You also go nitrous oxide, which is the power for your uh, rocket suit to make you help you jump away and stuff like that. So, let's get started. Oops. Which is over at this pad. We're going to press this button. Maybe. So it's kind of buggy, so press and hold. And we can pick up this thing, maybe, in a minute. Right. So now we're going to get some big, nasty, horrible things coming over to get us. At the moment we've got infinite ammo, but once all the bugs hit and we have to kill them all and once the, that part's finished, we will lose all of our ammo so we need to start hunting around for stuff and crafting it. If you see over there in the distance, there's something we can mine, but we're going to get and all those rocks and stuff like that we can uh, so you do. So that's our rocket pack, which is just by pressing space. Here comes the pods. There's quite a lot of the little buggers, so um, and we've got to protect this uh, from them. When they reach it and they explode, it'll do damage. That's on the top right-hand corner. That's five thousand. I believe that is the uh, health of our Paul. So here comes the little spines. You've also got missiles you can use if you press the right mouse button. So I'll just fast forward this bit on because it is just uh, mindless shooting at the minute until we've got this clear. Up in the, the top middle of the screen is the days and hours and stuff like that. Also up in the top right corner is the amount of, uh, uh, well, it's not there yet, but uh, it'll show you when the next uh, horde swarm is due. I believe it's on the fourth day after we finish these all off. We've also got a shield that you can see it's kind of going down a little bit as we're taking damage. So these little bugs don't do a great deal of damage. At the moment. I'm sure they will later in the game. But you see how our, our portal's taking damage there. It's these other ones at the back that we need to uh, kill. So these ones here, right we've got a nice level up. So these big buggers here, these are the ones that do most damage to us. And the most damage to that. Oh Paul. We can send some rockets out at them. I see, looks like rockets do a nice amount of damage. So we've got one left. Okay, there we go, we finished. So next invasion, day four at 5.30, whatever that is. So we're on day two, 14.42. That's up in the top middle of the screen. So we'll click these. I don't think these actually do anything at the moment. I'm sure they will do something eventually. And then we've gone on to getting some water since we kind of going low on it. So again, 
use tab to bring up your crafted menu and to get water we need 10 quarts and this will make us a canister which we can then go and use in the water which happens to be like pea coloured so we need to purify that so we need I think it was carbon to make these tablets yeah so we need two carbon per tablet and what was it for this and quartz for that so let's go find okay once we can once we can make this scanner we'll be able to find this better so we need iron magnetite and copper to make that so this should be carbon again uh, well not again but if you want to mine it just keep your right uh, your left mouse button pressed and this will uh, break this up takes a while but you do get experience for this so you can get leveled up this way as well it gets quicker later on so it's not as tedious you've also got uh, these things on the floor which I can't remember what they were for yeah these give us a little bit of health but it, it's very little however these things here these poo stuff called guano and you use guano to make gunpowder but these also disappear when you hit them no they, uh, they go somewhere and come back down okay. but they give uh, like meat and stuff I don't know where that one's going there is a there is a couple of bugs in the in the game that things disappear and drop through the surface and whatnot but most of the time it works fine So we'll have another go at killing one of these because we don't have any weapons yet or ammo we have to punch them there we go get some steak we'll nip that if you bring up your inventory you can put it on you can just drag and drop it onto uh, any button and you should be fine if you want to bring out your weapon because it's in number one we just press one but there we go we have no ammo so we might as well just press one again to put it away Right, now to find quartz. Can't actually remember what colour it was. This, I believe. Yep, yeah, that's quartz. <laughs> I was lucky. I thought this was like uh, sulphur or silicon or something. So, alright, we should have enough to build a canister now. There we go, we can build one. So you can put that on and you can just leave it to craft. You don't need to keep watch of it or anything and just run off and do other things I quite really like that and it's the same for your uh, particle accelerator you can queue a load of things up on that you can queue a load of things up on your inventory crafter and then go off and mine and they'll all just be done you don't need to keep track of them or anything if you want to build some fences and stuff which we kind of will do later on if you look over to my left or directly in front of us now there's some trees up there you get wood from those but we're gonna go and get our um, canister filled up first we do need some carbon though actually we leveled up so let's take a look at our skills because we've got seven points now and I would probably go for needing water and probably air wherever that one is Oxygen consumption. We don't have that one. Oxygen tank. Let's go for the 10. This just so you don't have to constantly um, go to this lake and fill it up. You do a, a little bit later on get to craft one of these, which you then chuck it into the water. They like put it in this water, and then it'll, uh, if you've got lots of carbon, you can set it away, and the carbon will. Um, uh, convert the water into oxygen which you can then go and pick up so if you want to fill up your canister you put it on your taskbar and then press whichever button it was and it'll fill it up with water lots of beautiful pea water and then we go back to our accelerator over here so 
stick on it we need to make a couple of those we do have a bit of carbon okay so we want to make two of those so we'll craft them then we'll wait for those to be crafted and then we can um, make ourselves some drinkable water would be nice to be able to queue this up without having to wait to have these so it would just make them once the other stuff is made at the moment you can't queue it up so you have to kind of wait around for it to be done otherwise you'll have to come back later on and restart it okay so there's our water let's put it back on our bar and then we can drink it if I can find the right button there we go and if you look in the bottom left hand corner I think the green one is food or the middle one is water and then that red one is fatigue so if you keep running this bar will go down but if you stop it just shoots back up right so what do we want to make next I really want to make one of these so we want some iron and copper copper is very rare in the early stages of this game oh yeah we need to do these as well let's just get uh, I shouldn't have done power never mind because we don't have power yet let's just go and uh, do some more mining I'll fast forward this bit on again just so you don't have to wait for us to level up and pointlessly mine because it takes quite a while We've got another level now. So again, we'll can look into our skills and see what we can. Uh, so we'll go for oxygen oxygen consumption this time, and then I kind of let's go for building. Maybe should go for mining just to get this a bit better. Okay, make it. I don't know if it makes it quicker or or not. I would imagine it does, and lets it mine better stuff. Ah, we'll not kill him, because we've already got enough. We'll get some rock wool. You also notice in the bottom left hand corner, it gives you your level and the amount you need to level up. And pretty much any activity gives um, extra points. As we're at level 3, let's take a quick check on this. So we need 15 more iron and 10 more copper. I, well, 10 copper, not more copper, because I haven't found any yet. I think I saw some over here. There it is. So copper looks red in the dark. It's a bit harder to see in the, when it's light, but uh, that's what those uh, scanners are for when we eventually get them. There's also aggressive mobs, so you need to be careful on those. Oops. Oh man, leave me alone. Give me a smack. Oh, just can you point the right way, like? So these give uh, some nice juicy steak as well, but uh, they do a little bit of damage so we kind of want to avoid those until we get our gun sorted out, which I think we'll probably do very shortly, although punching them seems to uh, kill them quicker than shooting them. And uh, oh go and get this. So I was going to complain about there not being enough copper, but when I first started, but I didn't know where to go or what to do, and it, there seems to be plenty on this playthrough. So unless the developer's been changing something, 
since I started playing. Or whether I've just gotten slightly better. Because this is really my first kind of play on these type of games. I generally don't play them. So if you ever get lost, if you look right into the middle of the screen, it tells you how far the portal is away. So if you find that, that's the way you go home. Maybe. <laughs> Actually, I think that's a lie. Yeah, that's, that's our one. <laughs> Yeah, it does. Right, I'm gonna go on. There we go. Got, we just got loads and loads of copper now. Again, I'm gonna fast this on because I want to pick all this copper up. Because you do end up needing quite a bit of it. That'll do for now, let's uh, speed on to uh, back home. blue dot up in the top right hand corner, uh, left hand corner now. That's our base. The big pools of pea, give it away. So we'll pick up some of these uh, plants and stuff. You get fibres from them and you can make uh, other things. And I think you need the fibre for bullets and stuff. We'll, I'll have a look at that in a second. Uh, crafting. Uh, nails, bullets, we need gunpowder, iron and carbon. To make gunpowder, we need fibre, iron and carbon. So you just kind of pick up whatever you can as we're moving through. You get plenty of time with um, like oxygen and food and stuff. So there's plenty of times to get everything sorted out. You also get drills to do this for you later on, but they, they take carbon to power. And if any developers are watching, it takes too much carbon to do it. It needs to take a bit less, especially in early game, because you, you can't pick enough of it up. I know it's meant to be uh, difficult, but uh, that's a bit too much. Cause it, I mean, some of the stuff you need to mine is like a thousand metres below or more, and so you'd need a thousand carbon to be able to do that, and as well as you're using carbon to do oxygen and craft other things, it becomes very... Um, like, uh, really, really can't find enough of it. Speaking of which, can we make that gun yet? We can. Let's have this gun. And then this can go a little bit quicker. We've got 36 carbon. That's awesome. So... Just drag that there and put it in number two. We now want one of these. We want some magnetite. We need to be level three. Technology level one. So that's kind of pretty close. So here, we can just press number two, get out our gun, and then press the right mouse button. And keep it pressed. It would be nice if this... I, I don't know if it does it faster, it seems to go a little faster. 
But I think it's mainly to get uh, more stuff out of the actual block itself. Right, magnetite was the purple stuff. So I think if we head over to these purple things, maybe. There might be some over here. I might be wrong. I can't actually remember. But when I say remember, I mean I don't actually know. <laughs> Hey little buddy. So that yellow is sulfur. Yeah, those purple things there. That's what we want for magnetite, but I'm gonna collect these first. So I haven't used these yet, I don't really know what they're for. I'm sure we'll find out at some point. Soon. Or later, depending on how much I suck. So we're at day two, 2100 hours, so we've got plenty of, plenty of time. Okay, uh, I also wanted to mention this weight thing at the bottom because uh, I, I was wondering how much we could carry. So it's like 102 out of 500 there. And you can upgrade that with your skills as well from one of these, I can't remember which one it was. Oxygen, uh, maximum shields, health, stamina, there we go. <laughs> Obviously the little weight thing here. So you can increase the transport, transportable weight and stuff by 20% and further down. So you, you can carry more, It's it's nice. I would suggest not using your rocket fuel all the time until you can actually uh, make it reliably because it runs down pretty quick and moving without it is very slow. Again I would like to see that uh, slightly less materials to craft or when it's crafted to give you a bit more so it actually fills the tank up better. Not much more, but you know, just a little bit more. Especially in early stages of the game. Can we make that scanner yet? Oh, hell yeah. So I think we need a bit of food, so I've got it on number 7, so I'll press number 7 and our green bar goes up, but not by very much. But it's okay. Right, there's our scanner mate. So I'll put that in number 3, and then you press number 3, and it shows you where things are. But not for very far away. But it does help. And if you notice, in the bottom right hand corner, our gun uses our carbon as we go through. It doesn't use much of it, so I think that's about right. I wouldn't uh, change that bit at all. It's, uh, it works pretty nicely. But again, carbon is used a lot for everything in this game. Can we craft any big turrets yet? Where are we at? So we need some iron to craft that to stick in the water. We need some trees and nails to sort that out. Uh, turrets we need more iron for. And a lot more carbon as well. I know I said not use the rocket pack, but uh, got to use the rocket pack because I'm lazy. So if you need to mend your uh, suit, fix your suit, 
it says there repair so this is not steel and you can't make it here but your particle accelerator can make it well, I'll go back and show that once I've picked up some uh, iron and we're nearly leveled up as well so we'll increase our mining skill to see if that improves any make this faster or get us more as mentioned this is early stages of the game you know it's just come to uh, early access so don't expect it to be any way polished or finished or have everything in it because it's that's not going to be a thing for quite a while I'd imagine I'll grab this one Oops, and then we'll head back to base. I'd like some more iron if possible. How much fuel have we got anyway? So 49, so, so I've only used like uh, one since we've been here. Sweet. Let's grab this uh, upgrade mining. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's grab that one as well. So, skills again. I'm going to go for water and uh, breathing. So, let's use less and fuel consumption. Yeah, let's go for that one. Make our backpack last a little bit longer. Oops, didn't want to do that. Sending off missiles, bad idea. So, there was also one thing I was going to mention about this. I think it would be nice if this would just stay here, even if we don't have any in the inventory, but it keeps dropping off. I don't know whether that's something the developers are going to add later on or not, but it would just be nice if it just stayed there so don't keep on having to uh, change it out right, let's let's talk about bullets so down here is usually carbon and everything respawns but it takes some time but it's a nice way of easily getting it so this would be fuel. We can get nitrogen from guano, which we haven't picked up yet. And you can get oxygen from uh, full water as well. From if you go and purify your water, then you you get that. What was I going to show? Oh yeah, steel. So you need to make steel, and then you need to make steel with sulfur, and then this is what's used to repair your suit. But it's like one per steel <laughs> it goes up like one I, I think that's a little bit uh, too little I mean it's meant to be hard again so if they, they do everything like that it would be a bit pointless so I think it should I really think they should just uh, do it for the carbon just make that a little bit easier to deal with so if we get some iron and uranium we can make one of these but again it takes so much carbon to get anywhere with it I mean you get there eventually so but you know like 3,000 meters down to get uh, anything good even if it's just a couple hundred the amount of carbon you need for everything else it's it just eats away at it and makes it rather annoying to progress at the rate that you would kind of expect to see early game yeah, there's some more carbon Whee! okay we need to find some iron so I find plenty of copper and plenty of whatever that was, I can't remember. Silicon or something. So we're getting 
really close to uh well we're just in a day three we've got we've got another day to go before we're gonna ooh, what was that? before we need to start making bullets and turrets and stuff quartz that's what that one is Stay away from them. Right, that looks like iron. Is that iron? Or is that... Yes. We found some iron. So the game I was playing before this, I was finding nothing but iron. And I couldn't find a single bit of copper for ages. And now, I've got loads of copper, but can't find any iron. I wonder if that... So we've got some carbon over there. Quartz there. Don't think we need any more quartz just yet. Do need to get some water pretty soon though. We'll take a bit of food. Oh, there's some iron, sweet. What do we need for uh, this mining thing again? Uranium. So uranium is green things. Usually somewhere near these uh, them things. Look, looks like there's a green dot over there. And you can usually see them on these little. Uh, mushroom type things, but I can never uh, never time that right. I can never get up there. Ah, oh, man, so close. Meat, lovely. Have a slice of meat. And we're gonna go jump over the pond. So look, this has already come back. Lots of carbon. And a little bit of iron. So it's nice to get lots and lots of carbon. I think we'll try and put our mine down here. I think we'll go through a lot of stone first though. But if these if this carbon keeps respawning here then I take back everything I said about needing loads of carbon. But you still need loads of carbon, it's just a little bit quicker. Right, could we make one of them? Right, let's craft that whilst we go and get the... We'll get this stuff here. Uh, we've got no fuel. Shit. <laughs> really? Oh, fine. There's the starfish, but I cannot see any starfish, and I can't even get up there now. So we've made that, but we're not going to put it here. We're going to put it down there, just near our base. So we want five of this. I don't want to. Oh, I don't want to carry too much of it. Uh, can we build you? Yes, we can. So let's craft that. And then get back to base. So you can build a storage box so we don't have to uh, carry this crap with us. I keep pressing space. Wouldn't be nice to be just be able to jump, actually. And catch polluted fish. That would be awesome. So it keeps saying we need uh, like starfish to make food, but I've not come across any starfish yet. It's not to say they aren't here, but I just haven't found any yet. So our next port of call, once we've got this set up, 
It's probably gather gathering more. Um... What the? Why is he walking so slow? Oh, it's because he's tired. <laughs> right. Let's get this um, oxygen thing in. So you need to drag it over to your bar. And then press whichever button you put it on. Now, you can rotate it by using the scroll wheel. So, that little plaque at the front, that's where you would interact with it. So if you put it in there. Now, if you've messed up and you put it in the wrong place, if you just go stand next to it, it will tell you F1, well, F1 to pick it up. So if you press F1, and then you can just pick it up and drag it and move it wherever you like. So you can just move it into the right spot. But, uh, oh, we've got to move it now. Oops, I forgot to turn it around. Oops. We'll do that right in a second. Uh, so sometimes you can't get it right because it like bugs out a bit, but most of the time it should be fine. So F1 and then drag it. And then we'll turn it around properly again. There we go. And what was it? T to get rid of it and other stuff. So yeah, T to destroy and M to move to an inventory. So if you press and hold M, it will stick it back in your inventory. But we're not going to do that. We're going to press E. And now it uses carbon for fuel. So we'll chuck some... No, that's not carbon. Uh, I'm not going to put 142 carbon in because we're going to need it. I'm going to put about 40 in. So 40 carbon would equate to 40 oxygen. So to actually separate these up if you press shift and press click on uh, right click on it an unstack button will appear at the bottom will appear at the bottom just click on that and you can just type in 40 or you can just use the plus and minus arrows so we've got 40 it automatically goes to there you actually don't even need to press shift you can just click on it and do unstack so that's fine so put 40 in and then we'll go turn on and it says water supply, yes. So it'll just work its way through. And there we go. We got some oxygen. Now we just leave that and go do other things. Like trying to make some fuel. Let's go grab this carbon. So we need to look out for guano. So we can make nitrogen from it. Right, we've got some carbon over there as well. Let's go check it out. See what we can make nitrogen out of. So just guano apparently. Hydrogen we make from water, and we need nitrogen and oxygen. Hmm. Oh, I can level two pain medication. Yeah, we don't want any of that. So yeah, we need to find some guano. We'll have plenty of oxygen in a minute. So yeah, and that's just on the floor. It looks like little blocks actually. And it's usually near those uh, harmless little uh, Pikachu looking things that I like to kill. Because it's their poop, basically. Oh, if we a little bit closer. Poop? Any of us can poop I can get? Nope. We'll get these plants though. Have a dump, dude. Don't push me.
Um, if you just keep running around, you'll, you'll find guano eventually. I mean, I'm not very observant, so I'm probably not, I've probably run past loads of it. There's a bait. Cheers for the poop. Could do a lot more, though. So it's like... One poop per flipping set of one, one rocket fuel. I don't mind that, like, I suppose that's fine. There's plenty of poop over here, actually. Oh, yeah. I don't know what that happened. <laughs> what that is. Another dump yet, dude. Have a dump, have a dump, have a dump. I think you just follow them around all day if you wanted, but uh, I don't think we'll uh, do that. Try and make some fuel. So, nitrogen. Let's create all. And we need some oxygen. All right, let's go pick some oxygen up from our uh, this one. What's their crafting? There we go, we've got 26, so we can just put that in there. We'll do unstat again, I think we'll just do 40 again. And then put that in there. And turn on. We could probably do with some water as well, so let's craft one of them. I mean, we we'll craft more, but uh, I'm just gonna go for the one for now. That in. Does say we could? Oh yeah, we got a mineral one. Okay, let's let's put this down here. I just want to show you what to do with it. What the hell? I thought I pressed four. Pressed uh, the wrong button. So turn it round so that the sign's somewhere we can easily get to. And here we go. So rock, rock, silicon, rock, iron. Silicon I don't really care about. And it's like 1,344. That's So that's at least... And it's like one carbon per metre. So it's going to be at least 1,344 before we even get to that. So we don't want to do that at all. So let's uh, put that back in the inventory. And just get these. There's, there's a better spot. There was a spot somewhere that I got it was just going to be silicon all the time, apart from the first, I think it was 200 metres, which is going to be rock. But uh, somewhere with a lot of carbon would be awesome. And then it'd be worth using all the carbon that you get to uh, actually get to the depth that you need to do. So let's take a look. Right, we want rocket fuel. Uh, we can make 26. Which would give us 26 rocket fuel, but then use all of our nitrogen 
and all of our oxygen. Let's do... Let's just do 15 for now. And then... We need to make two of those as well. What? Okay, that looks like it's resetting when it uh, does that. Uh, I think we need to start thinking about making bullets as well. Carbon, carbon. Could do with some... Iron. I think that's iron over there. in make our water before we die of thirst. I want that and create. And I think I'm going to drink this and I'm going to call it here. If you would like to see more of this, I, I say it's quite limited at the moment, but it's mainly just running around mining and gathering other things. And we need to uh, get some guns and turrets and uh, bullets and stuff for when the uh, the next wave of little bugs attacks us. So let's get the water drank. And thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.